watching this, so I don't want to say good morning or afternoon, so good day. Um, I'm Miss Bethany, one of the children's librarians at York County Library. And today, can anyone guess what our theme is? And my outfit kind of gives you clues. If you said fall or autumn, you're right. Because this week, it was actually yesterday, because we're watching, if you watch this on Wednesday, it was actually yesterday, the 22nd, was the first day of fall, my favorite day. So I'm ready for fall. I hope you guys are too. And to get us ready, I got some fun stories and songs. Before we do any of that, we need to do our hello song, our get ready to go song. So it's if you're happy and you know it. So everybody got to stand up and start by clapping your hands. Let me see you clap your hands. Very good. All right. So first, let's sing. Ready? If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. All right, does anyone know what to do next? Stomp your feet. Let me see those little tootsies stomp. Good job. Let's go. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stomp your feet. Stomp, stomp. All right, everybody, last thing. We gotta shout hooray. Let me hear you shout hooray. Okay, you ready? If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, shout hooray. Hooray. All right, now last but not least, we gotta do all three. So let me see you go. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. Okay, you ready? If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap, clap, stomp, stomp, hooray. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, do all three. Clap. Stop, stop. Hooray! Yay! All right, good job, you guys. Have a seat on your bottoms, and we'll do our first book. All right, I am a huge fan of Karma Wilson, and she does these great beer series. So today's book is Bear Feels Sick by Karma Wilson, and her books are usually illustrated by Jane Chapman. And today, Simon & Schuster has given me permission to use this book. Look, there's poor Bear. He is alone in his cave as the autumn wind, of wind blows. Can you guys blow the wind for me? Bear feels achy and he has a stuffed up nose. Do you have a stuffed up nose, anyone? He tosses and he churns, all huddled in a heap. Bear feels tired, but he just can't, what? Sleep. He sniffs and he achoo! he sneezes. He whiffs and he <gasps> wheezes. And the bear feels sick. <gasps> Here comes his friends. His friends gather around. Come out, bear, and play. Bear sh shakes his head. I am too sick today. <laughs> Mouse mutters. Oh my! Bear, your head is very hot. Hare says, we will help. Here's a warm, cozy spot. Bear mumbles and he moans. He grumbles and he groans. And Bear feels what? Sick. Aw, Mouse squeezes Bear tight and he whispers in his ear, Badger fetches water, Gopher cooks the broth, while Mole sues Bear with a cool, wet cloth. That is my favorite thing when I'm sick, a cool cloth. <gasps> there you go, they cover Bear up and he drinks from her cup, <gasps> but Bear still feels what? 
Sick. Poor bear. <gasps> Raven says, caw, caw. Come along, Owl and Wren. Let's go gather herbs to bring back to the den. <gasps> they coax bear to sip just a little bit of tea. You'll feel better soon, said Mouse. Wait and see. <gasps> oh, poor bear. He shakes and he shivers and he <coughs> And he coughs and he quivers, and he still feels sick. <gasps> the friends fuss and they fret. The friends cook and care. They keep a close eye on their own poor sick bear. They talk in whispers. Shh. They walk on tiptoes. They sing lullabies. And Bear starts to doze. They watch Bear for hours. We've done all we could. And then Bear wakes up. Oh! And Bear feels good! Yay, Bear! Bear says, I'm all better. I'm feeling like new. I'm not hot and achy. It's all thanks to you. Let's celebrate now. Let's go out and play. Let's jump in the leaves. Let's frolic all day. <gasps> then mouse starts to <gasps> wheeze and hair starts to achoo, sneeze and all the friends feel sick. Bear murmurs, don't worry, and he tucks them in bed. He bundles them up and he kisses each head. He tells all his friends, you'll soon feel like new. You took care of me, so now I'll take care of you. Wasn't that a great story? And it's nice when you take care of your sick friends. All right, next. We're gonna do a song about leaves, but you gotta show me five little fingers. Miss you, five little fingers. Okay, ready? Five little leaves went out to play. Can you show me your big tree? On a big tree one day. Okay, now we're be the wind. The wind came blowing through town. And one little leaf came tumbling down. Tumble down, little leaf. Oh, good job, little leaf. How many left? Four. Okay, ready? Four little leaves went out to play. Let me see your tree. On a big tree one day. A wind came through the town. Let me see your wind. Whoosh, blew through the town. Whoosh, and one little leaf comes tumbling down. Oops. All right, how many leaves are left? Three. Okay, ready? Three little leaves went out to play. On a big tree one day. And let me see that wind. Whoosh, the wind came blowing through the town, and one little leaf came tumbling down. Boop! How many are left? Two. Good job. Two little leaves went out to play on a big tree one day. The wind came blowing through the town. Whoosh! And the one little leaf came tumbling down. Whoosh! All right, how many leaves are left? One. Let me see that one finger. You ready? One little leaf went out to play on a big tree one day. The wind came blowing through town. Let me see. And one little leaf came tumbling down. Where are all the leaves? Are they on the ground? Yeah, that's what happens in the fall. All right, we're going to learn a little American Sign Language today. And we're going to talk about an animal. So I need you to help to follow along with me, okay? So first you're going to take your fingers and make two V's, okay? Now put your two V's so they're facing each other, okay? And then bend your fingers like this. And then tap them together like this. So remember, you got your two V's, turn and face each other, squish together, and tap. Okay, now you know the sign for an animal that 
climbs in the trees and gathers up all the acorns. <gasps> Who eats acorns? Do you know, boys and girls? If you said squirrel, you're right. Okay. Now remember that sign for squirrel because we're going to need it in just a second, okay? Before we do, I want you to meet my friend. Can everyone say, hi, scaredy squirrel? Hi, boys and girls. Now my friend, scaredy squirrel, he has another friend. His friend is named Gray Squirrel. And Gray Squirrel is very mischievous. He likes to be bad. So he's hiding behind a leaf. And we need to help Scaredy Squirrel find his friend. Can you help me? Okay, so everybody remember your sign for squirrel? Remember your bees? And tap them together. Let me hear you go, squirrel, squirrel. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel. Are you hiding behind the, what color leaf is this? Did you say yellow? You're right. All right, Scaredy Squirrel's gonna look. Let's help him. Was it behind the yellow one? No. Mm, let's try a different one. Ready? Everybody, let me see your squirrels. Ready? Tap them together. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel. Are you hiding behind the... What color leaf is this? Is it red? You're right. Let's see. Scaredy squirrel's going to look. <gasps> do you see baby gray squirrel? Neither do I. And neither does Scaredy squirrel. Oh no, let's try again. Let me see your fingers, tap them together. Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, are you behind the... What color is this? Did you say orange like a pumpkin? Let's see what's behind the orange leaf. <gasps> is he there? No! Where are you, Scaredy squ baby squirrel? Scaredy squirrel wants to be his friend. Let's try it again. Let me see your gray squirrel, gray squirrel. Ready? <laughs> gray squirrel, gray squirrel. Are you hiding behind the... What color is this? Is that brown like chocolate? <gasps> hey. <gasps> is he there? No. Oh, no. Let's try one more, okay? Let me see you do your sign language one more time. Ready? Gray squirrel, gray squirrel, are you hiding behind the, what color is this? Blue? Have you ever seen a blue leaf? Me neither, I think that would be kind of cool. Let's see what's behind the blue one. What's that? What is that? Is that baby gray squirrel? We found him, yay! Squirrel's so happy. Thank you, thank you, thank you for finding my friend. I'll see you all later. Bye bye. All right. Thank you for that fun story and fun game, Scaredy Squirrel. All right. Next up, we're going to do a song. So, everybody stand up. All right. So, we're going to kind of go through the leaf and how they change colors. So, first, we're going to be summer leaves. So, remember how we were trees before? Let me see your arms like you're a tree. Ready? Summer leaves are hanging, hanging, hanging. Summer leaves are hanging all day long. <gasps> all right, now autumn leaves turn colors, so we're gonna go in circles, ready? Autumn leaves are turning colors, turning colors, turning colors. Autumn leaves are turning colors all day long. <gasps> okay, now we're gonna be autumn leaves and after they turn colors, what happens to them? They start to what? Fall, right? So let me see you go fall, ready? <gasps> Autumn leaves are falling, falling, falling. Autumn leaves are falling all day long. All right, last thing, when you, when you have the leaves on the ground, you gotta do something with them, right? In my house, we played Rake the Leaves. It's a really fun game. So everybody get your get your big rakes, ready? I'm gonna rake leaves, ready? 
Autumn leaves are being raked, being raked, being raked. Autumn leaves are being raked all day long. Yay! All right. At this point in the video, you're going to pause the video. And when you came to the library to pick up your kit with the, with, um, the craft, you also got a book. If you didn't want the book, just find a book at home. And we're going to do some family reading time. So find a grown-up. And they're going to read to you a story about either fall or any fun book you choose. And then I need you to go find a leaf. And when you, after you read the story and you found a leaf, come back and we'll do our last song. Okay? See you soon. Welcome back, everyone. I hope you have your leaf. I have mine. This is my special leaf. Okay. So this is the song. You gotta hold your leaf. Okay, ready? So we're gonna make our leaves fall. Ready? Leaves are falling. Leaves are falling. One fell on my nose. Where's your nose? Oh, there's a leaf on your nose. Oh no. Okay, let's try it again. Ready? Leaves are falling. Leaves are falling. One fell on my toes. Where's your toes? Good job. I have sparkly shoes on. Do you like them? All right, you guys ready? Again, leaves are falling, leaves are falling. One fell on my head. Where's your head? Good job. Okay, ready, we'll do it one more time. Leaves are falling, leaves are falling. One fell on my arm. Where's your arm? Where's your other arm? Oh, let's just do one more, right? Leaves are falling, leaves are falling. One fell on my hand. Where's your hand? Do you have two hands? I hope. Yay. And you can do that all over your body with different body parts. Just go, leaves are falling, leaves are falling, and then go one fell on my and pick a body part. So you can do that with any member of your family. It's super fun. It's a song you can do all day. All right, so like I said, there's a craft that you got in your kit. So I'm gonna show you what I made. Yours does not member have to look like mine. I know if you've been to story time with me before, I always tell you this is, this is their creative process when you want them to be artistic. And so that means freedom, do whatever they want. But this is what I made, okay? So it's a scarecrow hat that you wear on your head, but I'm already wearing my hat so I can't put two hats on. So you make, you just glue all the parts on and to make the hair, it's called an accordion fold where you just go back and forth, back and forth and you make the curly fun hair. So that is our fun for this week on fall. And next week, we're gonna do one of my favorite animals, the owl, because he's very folly, I think. So don't forget to step to come back next week for Owls with Miss Bethany. See you all later. Goodbye.